I know nothing about this anime except of the fact that my character's name is... Yummy! Neither do I play shooting games, but I got access to this beta, so I decided why not show it off. I took the character that I thought looked the most epic, and uh, he appears to be pretty damn strong. I wouldn't say that he's OP, but uh, you can feel the top tierness when you play as him. The point of this mode, basically capture and hold a certain zone until meter at the top fills till the end, and then you win. I presume that you don't know what my character does, so I'm gonna start explaining now. Side note, I don't fully guard, I jump cancel it in order to evade. Man, we're whiffing a lot. And there is a reason for it. The problem with the game is that it has no manual lock-on, so it feels as if you're missing 90% of the time, but when you actually hit, it's juicy. Like, you know that, oh, I've hit a person. And it must have done a lot of damage because it feels heavy. You also have two health bars. The green one acts more uh, as a shield, for the blue one, because the blue one is your true health bar that gets out really fast in like 3 hits, but the green one is your shield, where you know that while it's not gone, you're you're safe. All of my teammates are dead, so uh, I'm playing this in and out game, that's a magic item that fills another bar, and uh, if it gets filled to land, then you get boost for your damage. Glowing purple means I can activate my ultimate, or my awakening state, and then ultimate. And now if I press the button one more time, you get... The sad part is that you waste all your ultimate meter for this. Yes, there are way too many meters in this game. Meter for blocking, meter for winning, meter for powering up attacks. It's hard to keep track of all this stuff, especially for a person who is not used for this kind of a games like me. So my generic plan, now that uh, I have showed you all of my attacks, is uh, in and out. Basically, I go in, I bust all of my load of attacks on them, and then uh, just go out. In fact, my sense of uh, pulling out is so deep right now, it's very rare for me to die, because I just know when to get away from all this mess and, uh, you know, rethink my approach. Having a bit of 1v1 here. This should almost do it. I mean, at this point you... Oh no! Tactical retreat. Uh, no time to explain what the hell I just did. His younger version has Prince of Persia version of this move. He's chasing me. He really wants me dead. Doesn't have much help himself. Okay, fighting games. Got me footsies. Neutral. Oh, I clutched the sword! Another one. Very bad. Knockback gives me a solid chance to escape and do something else. Now, this item regenerates my health. There are multiple amount of items, all scattered throughout the map, and they do various things. Turn invisible, give you health, give you speed, make you jump up high, explosions. You might have also noticed that this looks uh, very chaotic, and it's true. 90% of the time, I don't know what's going on. It's explosions all over the place, uh, and I just have this vivid uh, instinct that I'm about to die! Wait... Okay, we're good. My guard cancelling into the dash is OP because it allows me to get out of any situation freely. And it's really hard to track me since there are a lot of characters throwing things out. We're pretty much about to win this. It's uh, their last desperate attempt to make up some kind of a comeback. The chances of that are slim, since uh, despite my teammates being the one who constantly died, they're the ones that contributed the most in this match. 
All I have to do is just chase down their broken remains. Nothing escapes Captain Gabby. Nothing! I like how I still got him. That was literally the last second, last millisecond, and he still died. <laughs> I didn't get the MVP of the game, though. The game somehow decides by itself what criteria it wants to be the most valuable uh, this match. Sometimes it's uh, healing, sometimes it's kills, sometimes it's objective time. You never know. Okay, this is another mode called Treasure Hunt. Its purpose is again to fill out the winning meter, but in order to do so, you have to collect keys and then open up treasures. If you open up one treasure, that gives you four points. Five points overall win the game. Which means that opening even one treasure box is uh, pretty damn hard. But you'll see what I'm talking about soon enough. Now I outmaneuvered them using that invisibility cloak. Again, items are completely random and I just got lucky, I guess, that invisibility cloak was there. Focusing on murdering things now. Objective later. <laughs> oh! He got unlucky. Man, that's the first time I've seen somebody get completely demolished by the spawning system. Usually you spawn in a pretty safe place. At least I have never had any problems with that. And it shows Quadra down and you assume that, oh, I killed four people, but in fact, it's just the entire team killed uh, uh, enemies in a succession, you know. I'm trying to use my shield in order to help others gather the key, because uh, whenever they get hit, they don't really get interrupted, but they take uh, lots of damage whenever they try to take a key and somebody hits them. Man, I feel myself like a drunk man whenever I don't have any ammo for mini Gitsuga Tenshows. And I just run around trying to hit people with normal sword range. It's very deceptive, you think that you're in range and you're about to hit them, and you don't. One thing I forgot to tell you about Awakening. You can use Observation Haki and see people through walls in this mode. Which is very useful. I was hoping for a double kill in some situations. You now those shields are very tough to break. Whenever I get hit, I feel as if my shield goes down very fast. That's why I'm trying to dodge instead of actually uh, guarding. Come on, open up the treasure! If he'd open up the treasure now, I probably would've won, but it takes a lot of time. I was trying to push her in the ball. That way the power of the suck would nullify all of her projectiles and basically let me in for free. Oh, this is a bomb! I really like it because it does a lot of damage, but it also uh, is kind of slow. Let's see if I can drop it somewhere useful. Damn! Okay. Each time you get knocked down you have to manually press the button in order to stand up. That's uh, something to get used to. I keep forgetting about it. Oh, about to die! Dangerous. Health is going down really fast in this game. There are some characters that don't have much of health uh, to begin with, and they're just screwed if they get hit once. They have to use everything in their power to dominate. Isn't the range on this? Like, that hit! Okay, no key for you. Let's see if I can get the key. I rarely open the chest. You can't guard while you're trying to get the key. But you see, you don't even get uh, a solid animation here. You just have to look at the hour and hope that you will take it. Ah, I was really close to getting it. Really, really close, but I could not stand any more damage. No, they have to take one. Okay, I will let them. 
take the key, since I don't really want to fight in masses. And I'll just try and kill the dude uh, who has the key to get the point. You see, this was a special one, because whenever you see a yellow circle surrounding the target and it says Link, that means that if you're going to jump on them, they're going to get wrecked. Again, they take a lot of damage. That's not an instant kill, but they're going to get a lot of damage again. I still don't get the system and how to link people, but it's something that uh, is connected with juggling. So if you juggle somebody, then somebody else will get an opportunity to uh, get the link. The, I will call it the link attack. Anyway, I'm taking the key and gonna go open the chest, so it's time for the final demolishment. Cover myself with the ball, nullifying all the magic. Well, they're gonna prevent me, or at least try to prevent me from opening the chest. Gotta make it in time, one minute left. Should be relatively easy. I know that I'm the target right now, so I'll be extra careful. Okay, everyone's dead, we're dying. So this is what he died. This was your brief summary of uh, Black Clover gameplay. Tell me what you think. Do you want to see more of this game? I have not pre-ordered it or had any plans on buying it. But uh, if there are a lot of requests and people like it, then... Oh hell, let's destroy my wallet. Why not?